uh, because we can get so caught up on a position or on a title or on an anointing or a gift that God has given us and forget what he instructed us to do with what he gave us. Uh, the disciples, I believe, had a little touch of this because uh, you got to understand they walked with Jesus. They were there when he performed the miracles. They were there when he opened the blinded eyes. And so when this Canaanite came to them, they said, send her away for she crying after us. But you can't get so caught up on who you are trying to be that you forget the purpose that God has ordained in your life. Jesus did not lose his relevance uh, to preserve his identity. He knew exactly who he was. Uh, but he did say, now, 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 I am I not sin, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And she said, Lord, help me. That's why I want to tell the rest of you, don't take no for an answer. If you got faith the size of a mustard seed, the Bible says you can speak to this mountain and tell it to be moved and cast into the sea, and it shall be done. I travel a lot on the road. Uh, I see accidents, and there's a few accidents that I uh, pass by, and some of the paramedics are there. And when the paramedics get there, if people have sustained injuries, they have to immediately treat them. And if they have to get in the, uh, the, the ambulance, they go to the hospital. The ambulance doesn't drive them to the morgue. The ambulance doesn't drive them to the funeral home. And if uh, they stop breathing, and the medics, the paramedics, have to begin rescue breathing or CPI. They have to continue it until the doctor okay. pronounces them dead. Okay. Anybody see where I'm going? Because it's not up to the paramedics to say whether I am dead or alive. The problem is in the church. There are too many people trying to do things that is not up to them to decide. When people come through these doors, it's up to us.